topic for today is wedding videography as, as a, a business. business. Yes. I know we have a lot of um, aspiring videographers mm -hmm. who are very interested in today's episode. Mm -hmm. So um, before we go into our topic, we have uh, a special video presentation t for you from the founders of Shoot Practical Videography School. So yes. let's take a look at the AVP. From filmmaking from uh, UP, EJ Mihares has worked as a filmmaker and directed documentary films tackling issues of environment and society. He has further studied advanced documentary filmmaking under German, French, and Dutch filmmakers in various workshops and specialized courses organized by the Goethe Institute Manila and Goethe Institute Hanoi. Aside from, aside, aside from <laughs> documentaries, EJ also directs commercials, advertisements, and corporate image films. Yes. What about our other uh, guest the today? The other co-founder of um, Shoot Practical School Manila, after taking up European languages at UP, Denise Abad has reinvented his engineering and financial past into being a documentary filmmaker, marketer, and educator at the Shoot Practical Videography School. He leverages his skills as a linguist by regularly working with European clients in the Philippines. His advocacies revolve around climate change and environment, energy, social enterprise, land use, good governance, and sustainability. When he's not at the shoot school, he works on corporate AVPs, image films, Kickstarter videos, and documentary documentaries well what are yes what so without uh, further ado let's introduce yes. ej mihares and, and Dennis, Dennis abad, abad. Hello, hello guys welcome. hello morning. sirs morning hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining us morning, morning. <laughs> morning ej oh, oh. okay so to be clear this is ej yes and then this is yes. Dennis. Dennis. Yes. yes so our videographers mm. our guests for today so yes. first we talk about uh the school the shoot uh Practical, Practical. <laughs> videography <laughs> school. Yes. Mahaba, mahaba. So if you can let us know what about the school. Yung yes. pangalan ng school uh, very important sa amin. It's Practical okay. Videography yes. School. Napansin ko nga yung practical. Yes, so uh, meaning we, we, we teach talaga yung uh, practical things about uh, videography. Mm -hmm. And um, we teach by um, pagpapractice sa kanila nung mga actual uh, skills and uh, knowledge na needed for, for mm -hmm. them to become uh, Videographers, okay. no, uh, videographers who are earning, no, by uh, oh. by doing wedding videos yeah. mm. and birthdays, baptisms, corporate events, and other family. Yeah. Uh, so then, events, it started yeah. when? It started in 2014 oh. when. Uh, Magdi three years now. Yeah, Magdi three years now, okay. and that's why we actually called it practical. Like I say, we know as a from a knowledge standpoint, when we want to learn something. It's always better if you practice than, than just plain theory. Yes. Because yes. yes. everything that we we actually receive uh, from from textbooks and this book knowledge isn't enough. Because it's yeah. also a mechanical skill. It's a it's a motor skill that, mm -hmm. that you practice. Okay. Uh, you have to make sure that your equipment feels part of your your own body. So mm -hmm. yeah. in our classes, it's usually seventy almost seventy percent practical mm -hmm. oh. and. 30% we, we give the theory so it's really parang talagang pupukan yung mga tao okay. doon sa oh, okay. So sa ano yung learning. mga courses being offered at Shoot <laughs> yes. Practical Videography School? Ang pinaka popular na courses yes. ng Shoot School yung Weddings and Events Videography oh, course. Kasi in demand, di ba? Yes, oh. doon pa lang okay, sa, sa data namin na, na at 
ito yung pinakamaraming students because Ooh. ito yung ito yung course, ito yung skill na kumikita yung mga oh. yung mga estudyante. Okay. After this course, they become wedding videographers. They earn from it. All right. Yung mm-hmm. other yung other courses, there's uh, the basic editing, advanced video editing, color grading, and then yung um, cinematography oh. course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so madami. Mm-hmm. So Rance, I'm curious why why put okay. Of course, obvious na, di ba? Um, apparently, they are filmmakers. Yes, yes. From the bio we gave, your background Uh-oh. is documentaries. Yes. Um, your background is European languages. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pero oh. turned into Uh-oh. that into, also. Uh, documentaries oh. with uh, foreigners and things like that. Uh-oh. So, hindi na, hindi na bago na they put up this kind of business. But again, mm-hmm. you emphasize na itong school different from other schools na nagtuturo ng videography. Yes. So, yeah. what was your motivation? Why did you want to put up a school? Yes. Yeah. Uh, may may kwento ako dyan eh. Merong, okay, meron kwento. akong uh, <laughs> inattended na wedding. Yes. Um, relative siya. Okay. Hindi ako yung kinuha na videographer. Okay. During okay. that time, um, masama nag- ba yung loob mo? Pa? Hindi no, masama yung loob ko kasi <laughs> lilo na ako sa pagiging wedding videographer. Okay, so, this this okay. was after na, an, na nag, nag-stop na ako sa sa wedding. So, hindi na ako yung nag-video ng wedding okay, niya. So, yeah. Pinakita yung same day edit pinakita okay. yung kanilang uh, wedding video and hindi naman sa pagmamayabang pero talagang mapapakinch oh, ka na papayak ka sa dito oh. after a few days nag nagvisit kami dun sa dun sa relative ko na yes. kinasal and nagko-complain siya dun sa wedding ah. video nila and nahihiya siya and sana sabi niya sana ako ya EJ sana ikaw na lang yung kinuha ko na videographer mm. that was the time na sabi ko kay Dennis Dennis mm. kailangan na nating i-start mm. yung school kasi people will buy cameras and ask oh. money from uh, couples oh. and then they will huh. sell their services without the skills and knowledge. Videographers, yes. photographers exactly. out there don't do that, especially <laughs> weddings, and birthdays, oh. special oh. events yun. So, sabi, sabi ko pa nga kay Dennis, gawin na natin tong school para nang sa ganun in the future, wala nang mga bride and groom na iiyak. Na iiyak. Oh, <laughs> so yun yung naging drive din oh, yun. Oh, yun yung naging drive. For oh. ano naman, for my part. They feel for the bride. Oh, oh. Kasi <laughs> ano na eh. As you can see, EJ has a, a filmmaking background. Ako naman, mm-hmm. I came from corporate. Oh. I was one of those people, exactly the same person that EJ is describing na nakaipo ng pambili, tapos bumili, tapos I presented, no, no, oh, I presented oh. myself as a, as a videographer. Mm-hmm. Pero yun niya, I was looking for a such kind of training here in the Philippines na, mm-hmm. na sana may ganitong parang kind of, paano kaya pag-shoot ng wedding talaga step by step. Oh. Hindi yung parang film school kasi dito sa atin we we have a lot of very very good film schools like mm-hmm. the UP oh. film UP yes, film yes, yes. Yes. so okay. we have we have talagang they're geared for narrative films mm-hmm. their TV work and mm-hmm. production and but that's not parang what we call our own parang practical videography mm-hmm. so in my search naman for school napadpad pa ako sa Singapore para mag-aral oh. Wow. Eh, kaya, kasi ay, ayaw ko rin, ma- kasi nung nag-try ako mag-shoot for friends, na-realize ko na marami pa akong hindi alam. Hindi ako oh. pwedeng mag-charge until ma- mapaano ako. Oh. So, I, I took the long way down the road. I, I freelance under several studios mm-hmm. up and down the Philippines. Nagpunta ako sa iba't ibang mga ano. Pakapala ng mukha. And all of the mistakes <laughs> that EJ and I made uh, during the process, pwede na namin i-share actually sa mga, man, uh, mga students namin kasi they can avoid that costly learning curve because oh, oh. you're only as good as your last wedding. Eh. So mm-hmm. if if you make a mistake, of course, people will, will complain and then, oh, you see your reputation. Mo. So mm-hmm. it's actually, you're saving a lot of money by mm-hmm. by getting as much as you can right away and taking the best out of it and then flying with it. And right. that's happened for a lot of our students already. Okay. That's good. So what about your yeah. students? Who are usually, who are the ones who enroll? Ang, What are their backgrounds? Ang mga students namin, nung, nung nag-umpisa kami, akala namin mga fresh graduates or mm-hmm. mga mga bata pa. Nagulat kami, malaking percentage ng mga nag enroll sa shoot school is yung mga meron ng business, mga entrepreneurs, mga photographer mm-hmm. na gustong mag-branch out into videography. So may basic videography. skills na. Oh, okay. Basic skills and then meron ng, ano, meron na silang equipment. Uh, equipment oh. And then may business sense na sila. Kumbaga, 
alam nila na kaya sila gustong mag kaya nila gustong mag-aral kasi gagamitin nila ito sa, oh, sa business. Oh, oh, oh. So, ito yung mga small studio owners na photo oh, video studio. Oh. Kumbaga parang master all na lang. Yun. Parang yes. master na lang sa kanila. Oh. Meron na silang oh, skills, oh. may experience na sila. Yes. Yeah, so, It's ta- good that they want to hone in that yeah. experience. Correct. Diba? Oh. Mm-hmm. Tapos madami din kami mga nagiging estudyante na who are already have their 9 to 5 jobs, okay. call centers, IT, OFW, OFW Marane. who are looking for their exits okay. sa corporate. Oh, and they, they see oh, videography. Like okay. Last topic. Yeah. Yeah. okay, that's, yeah. a, that's a good point. Okay, bakit kaya may mga ganitong enrollees? Mm-hmm. I mean, um, what's the demand ngayon when I mean, it comes to videographers mm-hmm. and um, uh, photographers? Can you give us statistics? Ang alam ko may statistics sila. Oh, oh. So, yun nga, we're just, it's, it's very exciting to really just dive into the wedding industry kasi nga, you have all of these different brides and grooms, there's fanfare mm-hmm. involved, there's mm-hmm. a very, very special occasion that's happening yes. every time. Masarap yung pagkain. Pero, <laughs> we, have to, we have to look at the business side of things. Yes. And, and statistically speaking, um, in the Philippines, we are, syempre, di ba sa atin, yung divorce, hindi, <laughs> hindi legal. Pero oh, that oh, being said, <laughs> tayo pa rin yung isa sa pinaka, ano, maraming nagpapakasal per, per, you know, like in Asia, yung nagpapakasal talaga sa church. So, oh, really? may ano talaga tayo, meron tayo. More than tayo. other countries in, in Asia? Well, compared to the ratio of number of ah, people. Okay. So, per capita. What happens is, in in the past few years, yung average ng nagpapakasal is around 450,000 couples are recorded by the NSO. Mm. Na nagpapakasal. A year? A year. Wow. And so, last year kaya? Last year, around 450. Yan yan, 470 yata. So, the, the number fluctuates. It's not always parang it's going higher, pero... No, nowadays kasi medyo later nagpapakasal yung mga tao eh. pero oh. it's still very high yeah. it's 450,000 okay so you think people see the demand of oh, videographers in, that's why ang dami nag-enroll yes. sa inyo nag-shift ng career yeah. Yeah. Okay. there's actually so in, the in NCR alone we have recorded of 67,000 couples that got married in Last 2016 oh. so 67,000 out of that 67,000 and and if you do the math, dito sa atin sa Metro Manila, we have around 180 churches. Churches, yeah, So yeah. at any given day, there would be a wedding happening in one of those 180 churches. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. Oh. Statistics. And and it goes up very very rapidly during the Burr months when people are oh, starting to get married. November, so, December. Oh, so so videographers start to get fully booked. Talaga, sin some of them oh. have 16, 17, 20 days straight of shooting. Wow. Wow. wow! Even the <laughs> see, yung demand ang lakas. Okay, so now given given yung statistic, yung number of couples na kinakasal, kaya ba siyang tapatan ng supply ng videographers, skilled and competent mm-hmm. videographers mm-hmm. around? Mm-hmm. Nabanggit mo yung skills kasi in the past um, ten years, yes. nagkaroon talaga ng um, pagtaas ng level ng quality ng mga wedding oh, oh, videos. Oh, oh. So, uh, talaga same day edit. Yes, same day Nasi edit. Tapos ang maganda. Eh. Tapos oh. um, talagang inaano yan, ginugusto ng mga ikakasal na ganun kaganda oh, yung mga oh, wedding video nila. Oh, parang gusto ko Hindi ka tulad 15-20 uh, years ago na yung wedding wala. video, inilibre, inilibre lang siya ng photographer. Oh, oh, tsaka yeah. wala kang same day uh, edit. Basta lang, may, basta lang may camera ka and meron kang um, way to to edit it. Uh-oh. Pwede na dati. Ngayon, hindi. So, skills talaga yung Uh-oh. yung kailangan. So, yes, merong, merong demand for for wedding yes. video. Especially if you attend a friend's wedding and nakita mo yung same day edit. Yeah. Sabi ko, Uh-oh. parang gusto ko yan. Oo, pero minsan din naman may mga hindi ka gusto. Nakikita mo. Kahit na hindi tayo parang skilled na photographer or videographer, you know what's good and what's not so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of video. this is actually brought brought by the, you know, did you guys know na yung Pilipinas isa siya sa parang mecca ng wedding film sa buong mundo? Really? Oh. People from Why all over the world look up to studios in the Philippines. The, the studios like yeah. Jason Magbanoa. Wow. Hi to Jason Magbanoa if well, you're watching. Of course! Uh, <laughs> Cinema Works, Mayad, Treehouse Story. We have also all sorts of uh, great studios that are actively helping each other here in our country and then oh. outside of the country that, nice. that really bring up the the caliber of Pinoy video makers. So that's why we're actually proud na um, we, we even have students that are flying in from Australia, flying Whoa. in from yeah. <laughs> from New York uh-uh. that that want to learn at the school. Kasi yeah. oh, parang wala silang magiting training and even if they have seen training outside, they still consider the Philippines as a sort of a 
parang leading or cutting edge dun sa oh. sa videography mm-hmm. training especially for weddings kasi mm-hmm. nga the people that i mentioned and many more that are are really really parang charging parang mm-hmm. leading the 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 way films are being shot and the way we experience oh. it tayo naman na spoil tayo kasi oh. Ang gagaling ng mga videographers dito, we expect videos that are high ca- quality. Yes. Actually, uh, <laughs> it's become the standard now. Yes, Usually totoo. when I attend a wedding, you're always comparing it now to the last Correct. videographer. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 And then really the level of uh, the quality is really going up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kasi yung magaganda talaga, they really go viral. No? Did you know this? Mm. Yes. Kasi yes. sobrang ganda ng video. Yes. Talagang oh. kahit hindi mo kilala yung kinasal. Oh. Honestly, it, that's what that I do. So exactly. May iya ka din. Okay, now, EJ, tell us something about yung yung skills ba na required for for these weddings. Sabi mo nga kanina din, Dennis, yung may camera ka lang, may maganda ka lang mm-hmm. like expensive equipment, pwede ka na bang mag-shoot ng wedding? I mean, when do you say na pwede na? Mm-hmm. Kailangan nga ng, ano, ng skills. Meron akong secret na i i re re Ayun, no? Secret. <laughs> secret. <laughs> Listen closely. Lucky viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Secret ito. <laughs> the first uh, ten weddings na shinot ko. Teka lang, hindi na yung secret pag i- Oh, oh, man. Sorry. Oh, 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 first 10. <laughs> first, first 10 weddings na shinut ko. Remember, nung shinut ko itong 10 weddings na to, I was already a, do- a director, documentary. Oh, I was already a director. Madami na akong experience. Pero first 10 weddings, half of the time, or more than half of the time, hindi ko alam yung ginagawa ko. <laughs> Sa totoo lang, at, ang dami kong mistakes na nagawa. Sobrang, kung, kung babalikan ko ngayon, mapapa, oh my God, nagawa ko Paano pa kaya mm-hmm. yung walang background sa yes, tanong? Yes. Oh, so, oh, so yung skills talaga nandiyan kailangan. Yes. So, ang tanong, paano ka mag-uumpisa or paano mo malalaman kung pwede na yung, pwede yung skills mo? Paano oh, ka yeah. mag-uumpisa? Yun yung mahirap sa atin eh. Makanood tayo ng magandang wedding video. Akala natin, um, kaya kong gawin That's yan. That's what or, I thought dati. <laughs> 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 okay, drone lang yan. Yes, <laughs> you, you, you have a camera. You have uh, you, you you can uh, you can Google uh, tutorials. Yes. Always have your camera with you. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. Practice, practice, practice. Kahit hindi ka pa binabayaran, i-shoot mo yung anak mo, yung pamilya mo, oh, i-shoot mo yung mga oh, company okay. events, yung i-shoot pets. mo yung mga birthdays and then uh-huh. try to try to edit. And then mapapractice ka. And uh-huh. and then mm-hmm. Practice, upload mo, practice. upload mo, and then get feedback from people. Yes. Get feedback from uh, from uh, find find mentors, oh, so yes. find find friends na magbig- oh. magbibigay ng ng feedback sa iyo. And then ano siya step mm. by step na. That's the parang medyo long long way yan. Mm. Like oh. ako ganon ng ginawa ko, so oh. nagsimula ako sa mm-hmm. video from online. So I mm-hmm. I watched Vimeo, vid- YouTube, yes. Yes. and then I I started practicing on my own and then doing that. Pero Siyempre, you can only learn so much kasi from a one-way kind of thing. Yes. Oh, it's, it's one way kasi it's, it's uh, mm-hmm. you just listen to it and then you try to figure it out on your own. You don't know if you're doing it right or wrong. Oh, oh. Okay. You really need so someone guiding you. We, right. we, oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Kaya, yun nga, it's, it's very, very parang important talaga na there is somebody to guide you, like yes. you said. So mm-hmm. that's what they do in mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. Okay. With the school. Yeah, so now we go to the business side. Provided, skilled na. Nag-enroll na sa shoot, graduate mm-hmm. na sa shoot, o kaya nag, um, nag, nag-take ng course abroad like you guys did. Um, how do you market yourself now as a videographer? Yes. How do you get your very first wedding event or first client? Yeah. How do they see you as a credible mm-hmm. uh, videographer? Okay, so paano Ito. na? concrete na step na pwede nilang gawin okay, to get their step. first gig. Tell the world that you are into videography. How? How? When I say world, hindi naman ito yung buong isang, <laughs> isang kamunduhan. <laughs> no? <Nasa laughs> newspaper. Oh, tell your uh, your immediate Network. circle. Yeah. No, how do you no, do okay. that? How do you do that? Social networking. Uh, Social Facebook, networking. Twitter, mm. um, Instagram. You have to brand yourself mm. as the video guy. Mm. Ah, you, that becomes branding. your portfolio, di Yes, ba? yes, yes. Mm. Video guy. So, sa mga offices, ganito, di ba? Merong uh, guy na tanungan ng love life. Merong guy. <laughs> yes, merong, that's correct. Merong uh, guy na True. laging sumasideline. May absentee guy. <laughs> the, the guy, the guy who's uh-huh. always late. Become the video guy. Okay. Mm. So, how do you do that? Okay. Get, vi- take videos, edit videos. Um, post them. Post them. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, mm-hmm. kahit comments lang sa mga films, mag, yes. mag, mag, mag status Uh-oh. ka. And, if you see if you see na merong mga events dun, dun sa company, mm-hmm. shoot mo. Mm-hmm. No? And help people mm-hmm. who are into 
DS, uh, into videography din or into mm-hmm. photography. Yeah. Kasi gusto mong makita nila na ikaw yung pwedeng pagtanungan or maasahan. Oh. Then, if that happens, kung ikaw na yung video guy, yeah. anytime na merong sa office na, uy, ikakasal yung, ay, ikakasal yung mm-hmm. kapatid ko, mm-hmm. sino kaya yung pwedeng, kung pagtanungan, kung saan pwedeng mag, mag, maganap ng yes. mag-video. Or, pag-birthday yung anak ko, tatanungin ko si video guy, baka may kilala siya. Oh, At first, ganun pa lang, eh, baka yes. may kilala ka. Kasi oh, oh. ikaw yung video guy. Yeah. And then, grab those opportunities. Okay. Grab those opportunities. That's exactly That's what, what I did. That's what you did. Oh. Okay. So, I actually have a, a long story of how I transitioned from from the 9 to 5. And yeah. got into <laughs> freelancing. And got... Like exit. And, fi- <laughs> and finally, <laughs> also set up the own, you know, our own gigs as, mm-hmm. as documentary filmmakers and then finally we set up the school. So, medyo for me, it was a parang changing thing talaga. Very, very different from what I did before. Like, I had a cubicle. Oh, I was, oh. so, so, ganun yeah, ka ba nag, nag market? Oh, you started so, from friends? I started from friends, mostly recommendations, what camera to buy. Kasi medyo geek ako dun sa specs dati. Oh, Kasi so. I was coming from that world where nasa desk ako eh. Oh, oh. So uh, oh. armchair, ano ako, armchair warrior na. Wow, oh. yeah, I can do this. So yun nga, yung meron kang parang passion na gusto mo siyang gawin. And then when you finally start to experience the real thing, you realize na um, yung level mo pala before is kulang pa pala siya for for professional work. You, you notice things kasi. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. yun, that's when you start to find out more, you start to oh. learn and then start to go freelance. Mm-hmm. And that's when you really develop. So people start to book you and yeah. then they start to notice na, uy, there's a specific style that they like about you, and then finally, uh, you set up your own mm-hmm. nice. professional okay. thing. Um, yeah, okay, so number one, social media. Yes. Um, let yourself be known as the video guy, yeah. the oh, photographer. Yes, that's number two. Pakilala Start with your, with your circle. That's yeah. how you build that credibility. Like, don't yeah. sell uh-huh. agad, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think we have questions here. Na, oh, um, exciting. Very, um, <laughs> exciting, eh. Um, Bilis yeah. na oras. <laughs> Oo nga, eh. Pet, well, good morning watching from Bataan. Good luck, mga master sir show then. And, oy, baka kilala nila kayo. Baka students Sino din. Yan? Yan. Hi, Mark Milano. Jane Ronquillo. Hi, Mark. Hi, Andy Jane. Randy Olap, Foto Richard Benaventura. Randy. Watching from Bagnet. <laughs> Randy is from, uh, no, vegan. Hey, wait. Si ano pala yan? Si Richard. Si yes, Richard. yes. Oh, si Randy Irish is from Irish Bermudez Kavite. is watching. Ate Berna, Ricky, hello, Jude, <laughs> Gabby Gueco. Uy, Gabby. Um, Mark Milano. Watching from San Mateo, California. Guys, international viewers. Whoa. And from Andy. Nine Did you read all of the names already? Um, yeah. Yes, I think so. Oh. Yung mga Ito, I like this comment. Noy Das Marines. Uy, mga pogi. Noy, <laughs> 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 mga pogi. Thank you. Those are the comments that have a good life. At maganda. Also watching. <laughs> At maganda. <laughs> At maganda. <laughs> May isang oh. maganda. Okay, so doon sila nag-start. Um, nakilala, nagpakilala ka muna as videographer, as photographer. So now, ha, paano mo kinuha yung first ever gig? I mean, Ako. how did you get Ayun. into that? Ayun. Kasi yun nga, I was... Um, presenting myself na as, a, as a videographer, di ba? Mm-hmm. And I was doing works. I actually shot my first few weddings na libre. Oh! oh so, yun yung mga hahanapin ko yeah. pa sa lako. <laughs> <laughs> pero yun nga, <laughs> just, pero handa ka na yung magaling yung story. Hindi talaga ako marunong noon. There's so, a reason why. Uh, may, may, ma- ito yung may ginawa ako dati na classmate ko siya nung, nung high school. Sabi ko, mm-hmm. can I volunteer to practice at your wedding? I, I, I won't be a nuisance or a burden to the other official videographers. Oh, so as she they also lang. had another. Oh, because oh, you, oh, oh, eh, you have to be very careful about that because you, you can't take take parang promise ka agad na kaya ko to oh. and then wag ipapalabas na hindi pala tas masisira yung wedding nila. This is one thing that we are very very serious about kasi nga you, you're being paid kasi as a videographer medyo mataas yung responsibility niya eh, kasi yeah. you're being capture paid to, oh, oh. These to are capture for a lifetime. milestones. These yes. are not just memories yeah. na basic. <coughs> Oftentimes, yung pinapabigyan ng isang couple, dalawa lang yun eh, yung kasal nila, tapos yung anak, yung ka- kasal naman ng anak nila. So, uh, Doon lang halos eh, mga birthday, mm-hmm. hindi naman lahat, di ba? Yes. Binyag, hindi naman lahat. Yung kasal lang nila halos yung ginagasas nila for, for video. And, and yes. for the most part, people are really parang waiting for that video and then you promise na uy I can do this pero yung pala hindi ka pa pala s- ready mm-hmm. so that's what I did I did a few v- oh, weddings na dun sa classmates ko and then dun ko na realize talaga na marami pa kulang pa talaga ako ng oh. alam so yun nag-aral pa ako nag-hanap pa ako ng ano tapos yun nga wala akong mahanap 
Tapos nag-freelance na lang ako ng ilang years. Mm-hmm. Tapos doon na nagsabi na si EJ na, uy, magtayo na tayo ng school kasi school. kailangan ng ibang tao to na, na magkaroon din ng ganitong klaseng one-stop shop for everything about weddings and everything about practical videography. Mm-hmm. So, so when does uh, an amateur videographer can start saying he's now professional? Mm-hmm. That's a big, ano, that's a big. <laughs> Do you call yourselves professional videographers? They have um, school. Oh, <laughs> of course, they have yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. They train, they teach yeah, yeah. photographers. Of course, Uh-oh. they are. But uh, like um, your students, uh, when when do you, uh, your students, when do they say they're no longer amateur but professional? Ang ang madaling sagot yan, no? Technically, if you if you receive payment, you're already professional. Because oh, okay. you're being paid for it. Mm-hmm. Pero ang tanong, professional ba yung pinakita mong trabaho? Ayon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baka naman binayaran ka nga, pero what you produced is not professional enough. So may, may dalawang, dalawang... May malaking ka. discussion kasi niyan mm-hmm. eh. Um, there are sort of levels where parang these are not official ano ha. Kasi sa Pilipinas, the, the thing, whole thing evolves. Like, uh, for example, if, if you are a kind of videographer na kaya mo na yung mga shots, let's say, in a wedding set- setting ha, mm-hmm. na... Kaya mo na mag-shoot ng solid na ceremony, kaya ka ng pabayaan, tapos talagang Mm-mm. yung mga shots mo, they are well well composed, yeah. well lit, and then maganda yung audio. Mm-mm. That's actually a big plus na. It, okay. y- you can be paid for that regularly niya. Kasi da- alam mo na mag-shoot ng, ng solid na Kung baga hindi ka na sinusubaybayan, uh-huh. hindi ka na sinusupervise. Kaya mo na, kaya yes, mo na gumawa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And it takes practice naman siguro. Like yes. sabi mo uh-huh. nga, di ba, EJ, yung first 10 mo, kahit na professional ka na nun, pero parang practice pa rin. Mm-hmm. But were your you customers, learn? were they satisfied? Wag! <laughs> um, <laughs> during that time, during that time, kasi medyo nagde-develop pa lang yung magagandang uh-huh. wedding uh-huh. Noong video araw, first. Uh-huh. Araw, so acceptable. Yes, yes. Acceptable, acceptable pa yun. Oh. Pero lots of mistakes during that time. And then, okay. masaya sila kasi yung nag-shoot ng videos nila, director. Oh, okay. Kunwari. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nila alam. DJ, Diharas. Hindi nila alam. Mali-mali. Oh. <laughs> Sana hindi na nila ako na oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos ano guys, eh, yung dun nga eh, sa filmmaking, there is filmmaking and there is wedding filmmaking. Mm. And there is a certain Difference. kind of karang set of skills parang si ano si Liam Neeson set of skills <laughs> na <laughs> na kailangan dun sa wedding videography kasi in weddings of course we know na hindi mo pwedeng i-direct yung mga couple na ay ma'am pasok na ako uli kay sa church kasi hindi namin nakuha eh take two take two so you, you have this <laughs> walang take two oh, like you have to have this sense of not <laughs> just being technically accurate sa mga shots mo but you also have to develop a sort of a ninja like spider sense <laughs> yeah. you anticipate this angle. what oh. happens this is a very yeah, nice. ano, this is a very sought after skill kapag mm-hmm. ka isa kang videographer na alam mo mag anticipate ng emotions where to mm-hmm. point your camera at the right moment mm-hmm. at the right angle you get you get yun nga pag, pag bukas ng door ng bride oh. yun that's a perfect moment tapos yung reaction ng groom yes. that's a great moment to capture okay. everything is ano eh and then you tie it all up together oh, yes. into a beautiful film that's something that oh. that really is priced by a lot of people here especially mm-hmm. personal and, and, and ang, ang, ang maganda doon hindi siya yung skills na yun, hindi lang siya inborn na hindi lang siya yung oh. tipong you have it in you yeah, ang na-realize by namin it, by experience and there, there's a science to it mm. and yun yung yun yung ginawa namin ng ano ng uh, um, paraan mm. kung paano maituro oh. kung baga kahit hindi ka pinanganak na creative uh, incredibly oh, inclined Pwede pa rin siya. Mm-hmm. There's a science to it. Hindi lang siya tipong feelings and ano, uh, uh, pakiramdam and uh, discarte. So, mm-hmm. yun yung um, uh, na ituturo namin mm-hmm. no, dun, dun sa, dun sa but, school. But, um, siguro you need to love at least, no, that industry. Yes. Kahit so, na hindi ka oh, creative, oh, oh, pero oh, oh. yung may interest and mm-hmm. love ka. Like, mm-hmm. for example, you, um, Dennis, corp- from corporate world, you really wanted to be a videographer ba? Talagang mm-hmm. gustong gusto mo? Or because uh, nakita mong may demand? Um, actually, yung una kong point of view dyan, nakita ko yung may demand, pero love ko rin kasi talaga mag video. Okay. So and, and then, of course, video kasi is, is everything now, especially true. 2018, 2019, it's, it's everywhere like like we're having right now, it's Facebook Live. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So, yun, that, that being said, we, we are also parang developing our own courses, not just the offline courses. Mm-hmm. And for our viewers here, we, we even have a taste of what it feels like 
as as a as a school dun sa online course namin that we just released yeah, online course sila. Oh, oh. Wow. Yes. Oh, so uh, we have a bit link it's a short uh no you could just visit bitly. and then slash shoot rings mm-hmm. this is this might be flashed here Mm-mm. right now by uh in yes, this show and uh, what happens is di ba kanina i mentioned <laughs> na problema sa mga online training yung walang feedback mm-hmm. yes. in this in this online class we actually interact with with the students. Okay. So we provide answers to their questions and then yes. we provide critique. Okay. Then some more videos. Yeah. So okay. as yeah. Okay. So kapag natapos na sila uh, online course or sa physical na pumunta sa school, do you also teach them how to, you know, make money from it? Oh uh, yeah, um, the business side of it. Yes, we have a one day how to run a f- profitable videography business. Oh, ah, yes. So it's yes. it's for everybody. And pinag-uusapan dyan paano mag, uh, mag, magsulat ng business plan, marketing oh, plan, okay. positioning. Really one-stop yes, positioning. Parang pastoral talaga. And then, <laughs> ano yung uh, mga paano magsulat ng packages, ano yung mga nandyan, and how do you earn? Basically, how do you earn from being a, a videographer? Oh, so, you also so one day na marketing and oh. business course. Share. How to be profitable. Kasi of course, yeah. people are accepting and then there's this problem of, uh, very very low prices competition. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you want to you want to be able to come out na in the black pa din hindi ka pa rin parang Uh-oh. in the red na Uh-oh. pag pag ka mag-charge ka ng ano yung clients they they demand a certain kind of of service pero kulang sa ba, sa budget yung mm-hmm. ano mo mm-hmm. pang pang capital mo mm-hmm. so you have to learn these things kasi a lot of a lot of times like me dati Palagi akong tanggap ng tanggap kasi I was just so amazed na people would pay me, actually pay me for <laughs> for your hobby <laughs> for for something that for I would love doing yeah. on my own for free, diba? Uh-oh. But it becomes ano kasi it becomes actual business, so you have to be careful uh-huh. in in how you spend and how you take in money. Sabi nga namin eh, kung kung ikaw ay filmmaking enthusiasts and gusto mong pagkakitaan ito, yeah. it's not enough that you are just a filmmaking enthusiast. Kailangan maging business enthusiasts. Yeah, so, so you learn everything mm-hmm. that you can yeah, from totally. uh, from uh, reading, uh, from watching yes. uh, mm-hmm. um, um, stuff or, or yeah. videos that you can learn on how to run your Yes, your Especially business. if people are going to make uh, this their career. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. It's notorious kasi we know this and it is uh, something that uh, we all feel as artists. Because if you're an artist or a creative, there's a saying that you are starving artists. Because you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. typically artists like to to dive into their work and they have beautiful videos. They have great, parang. Tapos Pero yung business side, nakalimutan na, 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 na And and the people who are successfully able to do this both, Mm-mm. like uh, great videos and in great business sense. These are the the studios that you see, like Inya Sila, Jason McBanon, mm-hmm. and all of those famous studios I mentioned kanina. Mm-hmm. They are parang excelling in both, so mm-hmm. marketing and positioning and great quality videos. Yes. Oh. Okay. So that's uh, what we learned today as a big videography as uh, a business. Oh, my question. Okay, my question now. Oh. Okay, but I was <laughs> saying um, we learned that uh, of course first you have to have skills and love and interest when it comes to, to, to this industry and you also have to be creative. Pero sabi ka nila ni EJ, kahit na hin- feeling mo hindi ka creative, natuturo yun, may science doon. And then next, to market yourself, brand yourself as that guy. Yes. The photographer, oh, oh. the video yeah. That's guy. That's how you become a uh, game yes. credibility. Yes. Even kahit ma- yung maliit na okay, okay, Sean's lang. Yes. Birthday, or Uh-oh. Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> TGIF, yes. right? Pasta oh, oh. parang kung bakas Instagram. I mean, um, kung wala ka na magandang picture, e post mo yes. just to show the people that you're good at it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Tsaka yung emp- emphasis on the use of social media. Yes. Sabi niyo kanina Instagram, Facebook. Um, mag-post ka doon, o kaya mag-comment ka doon. Oh, that really is your greatest Review. marketing tool. Yeah. 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 It's an equalizer talaga. Yes. Mm-hmm. For and a then, lot of people. Right. And then, of course, continuous learning. Now, we have a question for, oh, oh. I think, from Cesar Zamora. Mm, for Cesar you guys. <laughs> Ay, kakilala nyo? Okay. So He's from uh, Woodbridge, Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, He's wow. putting you on the spot. No joke lang. <laughs> when you want to open a video business, is it required to get a license for revenue purposes? Go, EJ. DTI. Uh, <laughs> may DTI. Na <laughs> DTI. Yes. Y- yes, you have to uh, to get a business license. Mm-mm. But mm-hmm. hindi yun yung priority mo. Unahin mo munang magkaroon ka muna ng 
business. Ibig sabihin, okay. you, the skills, mm-hmm. skills. the so paying clients, sa umpisa, um, yung, yung mga kamag-anak, kaibigan. Yes. And then, make sure muna mm-hmm. na meron kang business. Viable you, na talaga siya. You, 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 ano, you register. Yes, yes. yes, kailangan meron. Okay. Okay. So, before you register your business, yung mga sinasabi nyo na small time na mga occasion, mm-hmm. kahit hindi ka muna registered, kahit hindi ka muna na-register. Di ba okay. ako dati, libre lang eh. Oo, oh, 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 tama. Okay. Nasa mga friends mo. Yeah. Mga, anak, mga small anak. occasions ka mag-anak, kahit hmm. hindi mo na-register. Pag professional na. So yes, that's oh. Lalo, lalo na, if you are uh, already dealing with the uh, businesses and other companies. Yes. Hindi na yun mga yes. events. Ay, hindi okay. na yun weddings. Mga mga personal lang. Events na oh. mga mga company, company may resibo events. Na kasi uh, may resibo na kasi dyan. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice that we have question. No? Kung yes. meron pa, if you um, guys, our online viewers, have um, questions about videography and how to make it as your business, just comment down below. Um, you can comment down on the on the Facebook Live si Joel, um, episode no? itself. <laughs> or you can message these two guys right yes. here. Yes, oh, oh. Yes, or, oh. or go to their website. Okay, now how yes, can people, people reach you? if people want to know more about your school uh, or uh, you personally, what? how can they reach you? Yeah. Um, you, can, you can actually Google Videography Workshops Manila. We are number one in that page. Uh, we do SEO. <laughs> <laughs> SEO. And, <laughs> and also, just Google Shoot Practical Videography School. It's also, it shows up. Shoot Practical Videography So, emphasis videography on the word school. practical videography. So, I think we, we own that sort of keyword. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, if they have questions, can they reach you through yes. there? The yes. We also website. have a Facebook page. And uh, Facebook page. we are... We are available there mostly. We answer the questions okay. personally. Ah, okay. So you guys are not just teachers. You also do events. Yes, and documentaries. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's say hi to. I think you have yes. a lot of uh, viewers and fans. Where did we um, leave off of? Glenn uh, Garcia. Hello, Gerald Reyes. Yes. <laughs> si Kuya. Oh. Watching from Boston. Yes. Si Gerald Reyes. Uh, anyway. Joel Pangilinan. Uh, Rondic Adige. Mm-hmm. Avi, Panganiban, uh, are any of these your students? students. Wow. Yes, yeah, oh. Cesar Zamora, I salute you direct. Yes, Laura, Lorenzo Santos from Saudi Arabia. Oh. Alexis Ka yeah. Banli. Yeah, mga students. Okay, guys, before we close, mayroong nagtanong, Jock, Hivik, Laura, if okay. you, if you're, oh, kilala niyo rin siya. Yeah. If you're Student. new in video business, is it okay to free your service just to have portfolios? Nasagot na natin kanina. Yes. Oh, Jock, yes. si, si Jock man is one, one of our students who used to work in the Middle East. He's now oh. actually actively freelancing. So nice. Wow. It's okay. It's yes. okay to so be So I, I used to do that X-Dil. before then. Mm-hmm. But okay. there's a thing about having it for free. So this is, this is important. Huh? If you're doing something for free, you have to have full creative control. Because this is what hindi ka dapat utosan. You have to be able to yeah, exercise your oh. your creative uh, powers. Okay, so, take note of that. So, full creative control and then if, if you can and if, if your client actually says yes, get them to have a testimonial of your work. Maybe just oh. yes. mention oh, okay. you. Okay, that's one good point. He, oh. You did one good tip. work for me and I love the video and I would recommend him to everyone. Okay. So, that Ayon. becomes that's now good you become an authority kaagad in the eyes oh, of the oh, circle portfolio. of the person that you work for. Yes. Oh. And third, make sure that you're able to use that video as, as your portfolio and you can market it on, on your own. Because some, some other times, kasi, people don't want you to put your name on it. You should be able to put your name on that okay. video. Kasi so, lalo na free naman, you offered to do mm-hmm. that business yes. for your portfolio. Mm-hmm. I think it's better na bago pa lang, magkaroon na ng Uh-oh. understanding na, okay, this is for my portfolio, please allow me to do your, yes. your event. Of course, you're not telling them what it. to write, but just let them know, oh, if yes. you can. Yeah. 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 So, just creative okay. control, it's, it's a sor- sort of a diplomacy thing na um, I want to be able to use this for my mm-hmm. own page. Mm-hmm. Oh. I want to promote you guys as well, so parang cross-promotion. Yes. Pero, you're actively also putting yourself or setting yourself up as an authority and as a as a person you can you can actually deliver high quality. So not just because it's free, na hindi mo gagawin yung best mo. You mm-hmm. always have to do your best. It can look like a million dollar video for all we know, pero it was free pala. And then you can say to, to your future clients na, oh I did this video for this brand or this person and oh. when they look at it, they will see na uy, parang high 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 production yes. value. Pero yung pala free mo siya ginawa, pero you're actually using okay. the video for marketing. Oh. Nice, okay, uh-huh. so that's the answer to you, um, Diok Loro. So, <laughs> pwede lang i-free, basta 
Yon, may full control, full oh, oh. creativity control. Okay, a few words of advice from EJ and you guys yes. for our aspiring, for our aspiring uh, videographers, mm. uh, yes. whether for weddings or for other types of for events. Business. What uh, words of advice can you give for those just starting off? Yeah. For for just starting up, um, madami na kaming advice na nabigay yes. kanina. Ang gusto kong advice ngayon, yung mga nasa <laughs> yung mga mid-level. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah. On the for fence. me, filmmaking is it's not just filmmaking. Yes. Sometimes meron akong <laughs> ibang spelling dyan. Feel making. Feel. The F-E-E-L. <laughs> yeah. Making. So uh-huh. we, we create feelings. Yes. We, yes. we create, create emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as wedding videographers, after we learn all the techniques, after we learn all, all the skills, we have to go back in understanding, trying to appreciate ano ba yung kasal. Mm-hmm. Oh, It's drama. a new union of two people who are in love. And if you look at it that way, <laughs> yeah, if, like, if you look at it that way, you, you, you'll have uh, the motivation to create something beautiful. Th- then, magiging filmmaking na siya. Okay. Na hindi na lang siya simpleng filmmaking. So that's kumbaga, a different understanding of what yes. you do. Hindi yes, ka lang yes. nandun to shoot. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Okay. Okay. How about you, Dennis? So that, that um, filters words. down really to how you look at yourself as a, as a filmmaker. Yeah. Kasi ngayon nga, in weddings kasi, you're not just, hindi lang valuable yung skill. Yung, yung gear, yung technical mm-hmm. expertise, but relationships then, because you're dealing with 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 couples. Said you're dealing with the family. You're dealing with people who who are coming together in a very special time in yes. their lives. Mm-hmm. So what most people, because think of it, na we business lang to pera pera lang. Pero uh-huh. hindi you you're there to actually help your your clients preserve a very special precious memory. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that being said. Halo talaga siya. It's it's a uh, right. it's your ability mm. to be able to to use your camera to impart the feelings and emotions that was being felt on that day and preserve it in a in a in a video. Di ba parang wow deep no? Pero yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, uh, that's ano? Uh, uh-huh. if, if you can do yes. that and if you can live by that, na ganyan ng uh, motivations mo to shoot video na hindi lang pera 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 lahat. You're, you're actually doing good. You're doing good. Okay. Oh. I think I think you know, to sum it all up, yes. it's about uh, not just yung earning profit from from your skills, from your interest, but also creating good relationship and providing good quality videos for your clients. Yes. yes. So we hope you learned a lot today in today's yes. uh, episode. Um, one thing before we go, we want to give special mention to our sponsor. Oh yes. Uh, Bandara Thai Bandara. Fe- Facial Hi, Spa. Ara. Thank Uh-oh. you, our sponsor. Oh. So we hope you enjoyed this morning's episode. These are mornings filled with meaningful business talk. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy Bernardino. And I am Mayan Manzano. And this is Daily, Daily Insight. Insight.